Were you just doing the intro to Blue Skidoo Weekend, too? Mm hmm. Back to our stupid Rex. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Follow us. Follow us. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Oh. Follow us on our Facebook Twitter account. Subscribe and hit that like button. Today we're doing a movie review. And welcome back to Classic Month. It's Classic Month. It's Classic Month where everything is old. And we got a very old one today. Yes. Uh, 1955. I didn't even know they had electricity back in those days. Am I that's, right? That's true. Uh, is the, this the oldest Telugu we've seen? Telugu? Yes. Maybe. I think it is. If it's how how old was um, my, my Bazaar? Ah. I don't know. But that one did get. So. Big Bad Mama. That's it. Ah, 2008. That makes sense. My Bazaar. It's no way it's any of these. No. Here. Let me look over here. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Maya Bazaar. Oh, we also... 57. Okay, so this is older. But then maybe that other um, Telugu one that about the singer, the um, classical singer, you know, and the kid. Um, anyway. Anyways. It's it, old. It's old. In 1955, that's, a, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's old. Yeah. Um, the Telugu film... Mizama. 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 Yeah. Uh, directed by Elvi Prasad. And written and produced by Aluri Chakrapani. Who did the screenplay. Mm. Mm. Um, oh. Did he say he was acting in it as well? Is that what's... Who? What is this? As screenplay as. Oh, that's just how he's credited as the screenplay. It doesn't say his full name in the credits. Gotcha. It just says Chakrapani. And starring Savichari. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, NTR Senior NTR Is it senior or senior senior? I think it's senior senior Because he's junior NTRs How, how would you do Is he just NTR I, And then it's NTR 55. No he would be senior if he was Yeah I think he's his dad No this is not junior NTR's dad This is junior NTR's grandpa Um, I know that for a fact And I, then he's senior senior Is that a thing? Has to be because if you're the third, you can't. You're not a junior. I know this from personal experience. I'm a third. When do you become a junior? When you're the second. My dad is junior. So there's senior is the first named. So if you had a son and named it Corbin, I would never. It would be Corbin Junior. Mm -hmm. And then if that Corbin had a Corbin, it would be Corbin the third. So is his dad's name not NTR? That's plausible. So his dad maybe has another name, and then he named him after his grandpa. That's plausible. Wow. <laughs> and it could also just be a nickname. I don't know. Uh, regardless, regardless. Regardless. Nepotism. And uh, he was in um, Maya Bazaar as well, obviously. Yes. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, but uh, it's uh, synopsis, I think, gives uh, a little too much away. Maybe too much away, yeah. Uh, but it came out in 1955, so this will be a 100 cents for the review. Uh, yeah, that's a terrible... Don't read yeah, the yeah. IMDb yeah, 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 no. logline. I, I read it earlier, and I was like, that's... I too much info. I mean, it's 1955. I get it. <laughs> Everybody's probably seen it and all that. But... Uh, and also the, the poster's in color, which is strange. Makes no sense. We did not have a colored version. We only had a... I uh, don't believe it was in color. Yeah, I, I didn't find a version that was in color. Maybe they no. just did that to make it more... Also, the runtime is not three hours. I don't know why the runtime is three hours on IMDb. So IMDb is all kinds of wrong. Yeah. Um, so anyways, if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. We saw it on YouTube. It was a pretty good, pretty decent copy uh, with English subtitles on YouTube. And if you, I'm sure there's better versions if you don't need English subtitles as well. Right. Uh, Rick, your initial thoughts of Mizama. One of those films that is a mixed bag that I ultimately liked, didn't love. Mm -hmm. um, the part of the things that I don't like is just my own personal taste for melodrama. Mm. That's that's really the, the, the basic crux of it is that for my own sensibilities there's stuff about melodrama that is just I, it, it's hard to watch for a long period of time and mm. it has some some f fits and starts as far as it having momentum in the story but it is something i ultimately liked and there's no denying it's 
a very important film in the history of Indian cinema, especially this region. Telugu and film. there is something that I liked particularly about it, which we can talk more about. I, I really appreciated the fact that this had, I didn't expect it, but it really had at throughout, it's not the core <laughs> of the story, but a really big part of the story is about religious tolerance. Yeah. And I I really appreciated that. So I liked it. Yeah. Uh, so did I as well. I I, I, en I enjoyed this one. <laughs> there was aspects of it that um, <laughs> I thought were funny. Um, yeah, there's some there's some funny parts to it. No, not just like the funny parts, because I did that. I, I laughed uh, quite a few times oh, you mean uh, at some of them. Just like some... The filmmaking of the time, okay. uh, the acting sometimes of the Ooh, time. Yeah, that's the part. Uh, which is, <laughs> it's it, it is what it is. Super interesting. Uh, it's 1955, man. It's a, uh, and 1950. It's just the way it is in the development of film and storytelling and things of that nature. So you you you, you got to take it. <laughs> Excuse me. With the grain of salt of mm -hmm. this is this region of India at this time and what they were making. Yeah. Because if you compare this to other films of 1955, especially films that were coming out of Hollywood in 1955, this, this, feel, yeah, this feels like a 1935 film yeah. compared to, you know, yeah. the films of the world in 1955. Um, a lot of times I, th I thought uh, the acting was actually quite nice. Um, um, but then they, they do certain things and it's, it's like... Big time melodrama. Um, and they also, in, in, I think it was very common in this day to the comedy was very Chaplin esque. Yeah, it was. It was full blown. Sometimes yeah. I felt like I was watching a Laurel and Hardy movie. Yeah, yeah. But that was that was the comedy of the day. He he invented that style of comedy. That yeah. it came from obviously stage. Stage was first, and he kind of brought his own yep. style and vaudeville. For, yeah, and so everybody kind of played off of that. Yeah. for the film comedy of the time. Um, and they, it wasn't the entire thing, but a lot, a lot of the, the situational comedy or the, the characters that was supposed to be the comedic You know what just characters. kept going through my head after the movie ended? Mary, please! He said that 500 times. Mary, please! Mary, please, Mary, please! Another thing I, I, um, appreciate before we get into the, um, the, the acting and, and all the other aspects of it, um, was, it was... The messaging was actually um, a lot of the messaging was um, pretty cool for the time. Yeah, in terms of um, female empowerment and them making their own choices about many things. Yeah, obviously, and being res and men being respectful to them in their choices of the time, as opposed to just the man being in charge. And, yeah, uh, except was... except this line. This, I love this part <laughs> at the very beginning, and, and there's a song about it where he says, uh, "Where is it? I, I quoted it exactly." Their yes means no, and their no means yes. Am I right, guys? <laughs> there was a whole song about it. <laughs> Let us know if that's the exact translation. Yeah. Um, but, like, her character was very strong-willed, obviously, and, and um, yeah. had opinions, and obviously didn't does would not be pushed over by yeah. other people and, and there for religious reasons. Very strong. Or for whatever reason. Yep. And she was like, I'm, you're, you're going to ask me? Don't speak for me, yeah, please. You're going to deal with me on my um, terms. And so that that was great. You don't see that often. I thought it was a very, uh, for him, a very respectful, NTR's character, mm -hmm. respectful character of her. Yes. Uh, especially, once again, for 1955, where we've seen many times. Of yeah. Like, oh, that's very dated, That uh, <laughs> what they what they just did there and that the, what they're doing in the relationship. I thought he was a very respectful character of her, uh, which was uh, lovely to see. Um, especially like I just said, for the time, it's just, you don't expect that often. Yeah. Even in Hollywood, you don't expect it because they, it was just such a different time and how people treated, even though they weren't fully, once again, this is spoiler reviews, uh, married. It's just, <laughs> you expected an old. Film yeah. Studio. There wasn't anything like that in that. Like, for example, I had mentioned at another reaction just a second ago that, that, that the, the British rating system just changed Mary Poppins from you universal to PG because of the hot and tot reference. And if you don't know what that is, it is, it's it's not, a, I don't know if you need to change the rating of the film, but you do need to explain it to the kids because you don't want your kids walking around and calling somebody a hot well, and tot, especially if they came out of a chimney sweep and they're covered in black soot. That's well, not The rating nice. system for back in the day films probably definitely needs to be changed because yeah. I'm pretty sure Grease is either G or PG. Grease is PG. <laughs> it definitely should not be PG. PG-13. It's not G. No. And it was at the time. Yeah. Yeah. No. This is not it, G. It should be a PG-13 film. Uh, There's quite a few references and no, vulgarities. It's, <laughs> it's, 
typically G films don't have lyrics and songs where he says the chicks will cream or pussy wagon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't want the four-year-olds uh, repeating that one. Hey, Mom, can, can we go for a ride in the pussy wagon? I heard it'll make the chicks cream. <laughs> go back to kindergarten, Sam. Uh, anyways, but yeah, so that was that was cool to see in, 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 in an old-school film uh, like that. Uh, NTR's character, um, and they all had these the little moments of... And I, I, especially the the girl and her family, and I think it was to show like their relation to each other, but like the, the wide eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And the turn, let's make sure we turn and face front for the reaction. Uh, it was very yeah, Chaplin. A lot of, uh, lot uh, of. Uh, vaudevillian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that it's part of the comedy of the day. Yes. Because uh, they want to make sure it comes from stage because they want to make sure you see the reaction. And so that's why in theater, your reactions are always much more heightened because you got to play yeah, in the back, it, you know. And again, that's where on the one hand, it's it's not my cup of tea, but I appreciate it for what it is. I more appreciate it in the comedies that are full-blown comedies, because this isn't comedy all the time. No, it's part comedy. But yeah. when you're watching Old Laurel and Hardy, Three Stooges, Charlie Chaplin, you you are you're just you're basking in that, and it's the kind of bubble bath you want to just sit in all the time. Mm -hmm, yeah. But for the most part, other than that aspect of it, it's not something that I enjoy watching because it's it, and it's not fair to it because in the day it was the style of the day. Oh yeah. Today, you do that in an acting class, they're going to be making some changes real quick and say, what the hell are you doing? Um, but yeah, they all did it. But I uh, I thought NTR, um, one, God, does he look like... I know. Like, it's it's the genetics are strong. The eyes. Yes. They're sweet eyes. I told Steph, I was like, he just has... I've always thought Junior and Char had sweet eyes. Like, he yeah. just seems like a sweet man. Right. And he has the exact same eyes. Yep. Exact same nose. Very kind face. Um, very familiar mannerisms. Which works in the role very um, well. And so it's just, it was just, I was like, oh, I just feel like I'm looking at Junior NTR right now. Uh, yeah. Um, but he, I thought he did a, a very good job in in his role. Um, I thought he was a very sweet man. And I thought he played him very well. Um, I, just, I kept watching throughout the film. I, I wrote down, I just, I kept, I couldn't help throughout both in their performances and the writing that even though it was very cringy sometimes yeah. just because of the melodrama. Yeah. The word that kept going through my mind all the time was adorable. Yeah. The film just, it's it just consistently adorable. Feels like a sweet, like, comfort film. Almost. Very much. And it wouldn't shock me if that's what it is for a lot of people. Right. An old school comfort film. Absolutely. Um, what had we seen Chavitri in recently? It was something. It was very recently. We had seen her in something. Was it... Uh... The other one from this period, <clears throat> she, did she just do Delugo and Damal, or did she also do Hindi? I'm not sure. You know, this was filmed simultaneously with two different casts. Oh, in, really? I read that, that this was done both Telugu and then it was also done in Damal with, with a, a whole, completely different whole cast. Different cast huh? Yeah. I bet that was done a lot back in the day. Now they just kind of dub it, and, or certain yeah. actors will say it, and because I speak multiple languages. Right. Um, sorry, um, was she, oh. wait, no, no, was she in that, um, Hindu mythology one that we just saw? The, isn't that the Stree? That's why I was asking. Stree, whatever that was, Stree 410 or Stree. Oh no, that's a Hindi film. I know, that's why I was wondering if she had, had done that. I got, what was she in? I feel like we just saw her. She has so many credits. Good Lord. There's a Maya Bazaar. She's in Maya Bazaar. That's but that wasn't recently obviously. No. Yes, this one. Huh. Interesting. Maybe you're just remembering her like from Maya Bazaar. Maybe. Wow. I just, I just she has a lot of credits. Good lord. Huge amount of films. She, Two, she, 215. Wait, was she the one that the the biopic was made out of after mm. of the the was that her of the old school right South I know Indian what you're actress. talking about yeah I don't know yeah you guys let me know sorry anyways uh I thought she was I thought she was very fiery she was, she had a lot of opinions in this one um and uh it, it worked a lot obviously as every single character had those uh, their moments of melodrama and uh, oh yeah the the, the over the top and the but writing, they were they were 
directed to do that. As, as is, you know, the the the. The climax and resolution in this thing happens in about three minutes. Uh, it's just... Uh, that's, my, my, that's my least favorite part of the film. It's true. Tell them I'm really yours. Actually, you're not. I'm adopted, yes, but we're both your parents. Oh, I love it. Yes. That's basically the end. She kisses her sister after yeah. she's just like, no! Yeah, it's like, wait, <laughs> tell them I'm not adopted. Actually, you're adopted. What? Yes, but we're both your parents. I love everyone. Yeah. It was we're very... It's so funny. It's like after two and a half hours, wrap it up, everybody. Let's get this thing over with right now. Come on, quick. It let's wrap a, it up. It was a very old school ending. Very. Um, so fast and so simple. Yeah. Um, she, acting like she's been her sister her whole, her whole life. And yeah. Obviously, uh, they made references to, like, I believe it was some Hindu sisters that were always bickering together. And um, and so that's why they had that, that kind of relationship there. Um, but I liked her. She has great screen presence. Um, man, were the songs wonderful in this? Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed the um, the moon one with him, her, yeah. NTR and her. Yep, and there were some really cool dancing ones as well. I don't think we had heard any of these songs before. Um, I don't think we had we had ever reacted to anything. If we have, let me know. But um, I liked all the songs. I thought it was a, a really well scored. Uh, yeah, I did too. Film by um, yep. Who was it here? I just had it up. Uh, uh, Saluri. Rajeshwara Rao. Rao. Um, and so that was that was another element of it that I that I really appreciated. Um, and there there also may be some other things. I also appreciated because it just came out of nowhere for me was the dream sequence. Oh yeah, that was great. That was really wonderful. I <laughs> for a for a film that's just so melodramatic and pretty predictable, for it to jump like that and suddenly become this avant-garde film for about three and a half minutes was very cool. Yeah, that, that's actually that's one of my favorite parts of the film. I didn't expect it. Not at all. Um, Not at all. And then she was like swooning for him after that. She's, oh, you saved well, me. Well, you my saw dream. his sword. You I almost it. laughed out loud. He's standing there. The guy when the guy's standing there like this, and then she goes to her, and it goes back to him, and his sword kind of just goes like this. <laughs> I know that was unintentional, but it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was I love that moment as well. Yeah, that, that, that the dream sequence. It was it was cool. It was a it was a different change of pace. Um, and they had a act, there was like a legit nice Errol Flynn sword fight. I liked it. I saw my first Errol Flynn film. I want to say a year ago. Yeah, I think it was the first Robin Hood. Guy was a stud. That was my first Errol Flynn. Yeah, Errol Flynn was a stud, man. Um, you don't have Tom Cruise without Errol Flynn. Um, and it was very um, that style, the, right? The, the, his films are very yeah because they're very just so, much that they're 1930s. I think maybe 1920s. Maybe 20s. Um, but it was he uh, came right on the heels of Rudolph Valentino, mm -hmm. who kind of started that in the silent era. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm trying to think of any other elements that I that I wanted to talk about. Um, if there were any other things technologically that maybe we had missed, that's that wasn't a very possible because it's not technologically. There wasn't anything really no I, I surprising or, or or that seemed I, difficult. I enjoyed uh, some of the cinematography in terms of like especially that the moon sequence, that whole set they built. Yeah, um, and the moon behind it was, was real nice. Um, it was more just I think I well, think this is just a feel good film. A lot of people like it's and like, like sit down. I'm gonna enjoy this. And like and most melodramas, time. the predominant ninety percent of the storytelling is just in a house somewhere. Yeah, which is and yeah. This this probably carries with it a huge reason for the love is just the nostalgia. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I can see why a lot of people won't really. I, I looked up a lot of list of like best Telugu films of all time, classics especially. Maya Bazaar's one uh, for, for of course uh, most. Yeah, but this was very high on a lot of other people's um, lists of classic Telugu films. Um, so, uh, it was really nice. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Yeah. Um, let us know what the other, Nick, other classic Telugu films we should watch are. And, um, for these stars here, Savitri or NTR Senior. I don't, big boy. I don't, big, big boy senior, uh, NTR, uh, that we should watch and anything else we need to know down below. <laughs> Thank you.